I'm John Davies with GreenBiz, and I'm here with Elizabeth Fredheim, Senior Director of Supply Chain Sustainability at Walmart. Welcome, Elizabeth. Thanks, John. Great to be here. So, Elizabeth, last year, Doug McMillan rolled out some big, audacious goals for Walmart, and uh, I'm sure you, you know, Walmart is known for logistics, for supply chain, I mean, it's retail, but you know, your area is a big component of that. So what are some of the goals that you're directly involved in? Sure, sure. Like you said, we, we kind of talk about that, you know, we're a retail company that happens to have a transportation arm, and so we're very engaged with all of the goals. And we're actually, I mean, we're very excited about these goals because like you said, they're, they're very ambitious. So we were the first retailer to commit to science-based goals. So um, we have committed to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 18% on an absolute basis by 2025. So if you think about it, not only do we have to offset all of our growth emissions, we have to reduce that an additional 18%. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be quite an exciting challenge, I'll say. Um, also by 2025, we've committed to 50% um, renewable energy in our operations. Um, we've committed to zero waste in four of our largest um, markets. And by 2030, many of you have probably heard about our project Gigaton, um, where we're looking to eliminate a billion tons of greenhouse gas emissions in our value chain. And so from a logistics perspective, we're actually involved in all of those goals. So the 18%, um, if you think about our truck fleet, you think about the energy that's going into our facilities, our distribution centers, you know, that's all contributing to that greenhouse gas. Um, we're working very closely with our energy team on where we can put in renewable energy um, on our facilities. We have a lot of roof, roof space and a lot of, um, our distribution centers, we have a lot of additional land. I was super excited yesterday to hear about Wattway, or I guess that was two days ago, but Wattway, you know, is that something we can we can implement? Um, and then, there, of course, there's off-site. Zero waste, we have, um, you know, like all facilities and all retailers, we have cardboard, we have film, we have tires, oil, grease, you name it, um, and finding better solutions for those. And it's, it's fantastic that, you know, a lot of these things we used to pay people to take off of our hands. Now we're actually having to put security on some of these things like grease and, and cardboard that are showing some value. And then with Project Gigaton, um, we are, um, you know, we're all obviously very invested in helping our suppliers to learn from what we've learned. Um, you know, whether or not they have their own truck fleet or they contract that out, we can help them with, you know, what are some of the things you should be looking for? And then we also have our own um, third-party suppliers. So as we look at our own carriers, how can we help them improve and, and reduce emissions in the broader supply chain? So we're, we're getting close to the end here, but what's one really cool innovation that you've seen in, in something that can help you achieve the, one of these goals? Thanks. A really cool innovation. Um, you know, we're excited about some of the um, electric vehicles that are coming out. I, I don't think they're going to work in every application, but we have a lot of mobile assets. And so whether you think about our yard trucks or our reefer trailers or even the auxiliary power units that are on a truck to give a driver the power they need at night to sleep um, and still power the truck with heat, air conditioning, those types of things. I think we're, you know, we're pretty excited about where that technology is going. That's great. So I've been here with Elizabeth Fredheim, Senior Director of Supply Chain Sustainability at Walmart. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thanks, John. Always good to be here. <laughs>